Homemaker project um, has taken place over the first three months of this year. Basically it's um, getting different uh, community groups to engage with crafts, you know, with, with designers, uh, learn new skills and the end product after they've had workshops and learnt the skills, being inspired by the castle, they then produce artwork that is exhibited on site. So we've worked with Fourth Valley College students, uh, with high school students from two local high schools, and we've also worked with ArtLink adult learners. Bringing artists into the, the cast to work with groups on site, it's um, engaging them in, in, in other ways. Yeah, you could, you could be doing tours here. Um, I mean, in this room we've got costumes and objects we'll look at, but it's, it's using another medium to get people to engage with the history of the castle and be inspired by our heritage. Because it's the year of young people, the, the young participants, um, we're, we're focusing in on um, life after school, life after college. They're meeting artists that are living in the real world, doing their artwork and, and living from their artworks. It's been fantastic having Stirling Castle and the Engine Shed as an inspiration. The ArtLink workshop, I decided to do a variety of sort of textiles projects, particularly inspired by Stirling Castle and the, the, the huge weaving project. Um, also inspired by the ancient dyes that were used, a lot of weaving and silk painting and some wire work as well. The work that the students have produced has really impressed me actually, particularly a lot of the techniques that the students have been learning they've been trying for the first time. Um, so there have been some really impressive prints made by the high school students and the Fort Valley College students are making garments and jewellery for the first time in their lives and they're doing it with real sort of confidence and um, really interesting designs, original designs. So it's been really, I guess, great to see that kind of turnaround of sort of initial learning to created, finished piece. Um, the exhibition is a riot actually. For the students it's critical to have this kind of outcome at the end where they get to present their work to the public and that is, you know, that kind of aspect of professional practice I think is important for a student to have where um, they learn the best way to present their finished pieces to, to an audience and uh, it's great just to bring your friends and your family along to see what you've achieved. Over the course of the last few weeks I've been making a jacket. It's been really interesting to work with the artists. I learned how to tailor a jacket. I learned how to stitch in lining to sort of build on the skills I already had and learn even more. I've learned how to work with metal and that's something I never actually ever thought I'd... It's one of those things I never thought I'd ever be working with metal and I really enjoyed it. A whole new world of, has opened up of new areas I can dip my toes into. I actually used like the history of the of Stirling Castle mainly. Um, I was looking um, at some of the old garments and I found some really intricate beadwork and I was like, that could be a good idea. And the way that's kind of turned out, it also kind of fits in with the engine shed because it actually looked quite modern. I mean, making pictures, this is the bit, this is the bit I like the best. Showed everybody my pictures are made and all that, so. Because my friends came and my mum came as well. And I'm really, and I'm really glad they came. I was really inspired about like the fireplace and I designed some garments like based on that and I started to look at like Tar and then like Mary Queen of Scots and I kind of focused into the runaway kind of part as well. I was really eager to find out like how old can also be brought into like new like contemporary like fashion. I really enjoyed uh, the entire project actually and having a collaborative approach, all the kind of different levels of input. Definitely want um, Meet Your Maker to continue. Um, yeah, I mean, we're already talking about the Meet Your Maker project here uh, for 2019, and indeed, we're, we're looking at taking Meet Your Maker to other geographical areas in Scotland. Mm -hmm.